win the City Mysterious World's Best Cocktail Menu Award, it's something that is probably one of my career highlights, and I'm so proud of what my team managed to achieve here at the American Bar at Glen Eagles. My name is Michele Mariotti, and I am the head of bars here at the Glen Eagles Hotel. The American Bar at Glen Eagles is located in the heart of Perthshire, in the middle of some of the most beautiful countryside I've ever seen. It's about an hour from Edinburgh and Glasgow. I think what inspired the team to create the Book of Berries was firstly being in the heart of Persia, uh, the home of berries in Scotland. We came across the botanical definition of a berry, which means one flower, one fruit, meaning that strawberries and raspberries are actually not berries. Since we were already quite deep with the research, we then decided to continue and double down. With the Book of Berries, we aim at exploring what is it possible to achieve with different berries, meaning pumpkins, squashes, tomatoes, blueberries, you name it. The vast majority of the ingredients are sourced locally or from the hotel within our Glen Eagles ecosystem. One of the exciting drinks that we have on at the moment is aubergine. One of our restaurants used the aubergine flesh, which leaves the skin for us to then use, which we infuse into a base spirit. A huge inspiration behind the Book of Berries was the creativity behind the glassware. We've had four glasses hand-painted from the Richard Brendan cocktail collection to create the illusion that we are drinking cocktails with the primary ingredient, our juniper serve. This glass was created completely bespokely for us and we have created a divot at the bottom of the glass that holds the olive until the very last sip. So the wonderful thing about um, the Book of Berries is the fact that it's based on the Observer's books from the 1900s. Um, it complements the rest of the room very well with the look and the feel of the book and the fact that it came in a variety of colours originally. We represent that with the two colours that we have. When we won the award, um, I was completely dumbfounded. I was flabbergasted and still in awe. Um, super proud of the whole team and super proud of all the work that we put in.